This is Angelina Jordan, age 12, How Great Thou Art, original video, recovered and edited. Uh, this is from Just Another Angel, a, a fairly new uh, YouTube content provider, and uh, it, it's an interesting, he has quite a lengthy, uh, or he or she, I'm not sure, doesn't really, doesn't really designate, doesn't matter anyway, but... Um, yeah, this person uh, uh, has a fairly lengthy uh, description of how he went about or how the person went about making the video. Uh, basically, had to get the Angelina's part off another video because he couldn't find this one. And took Ivan from the Million Miles video that Angelina and Ivan did together and put him over here to fill in kind of the... Uh, to, to, to make the video interesting, I would think, but he had another words for it. The person had another word for it. So, whatever the case, uh, let's go ahead and watch. It's an interesting uh, concept, and as long as we get to hear Angelina saying, the visual is adds can add to uh, her beautiful voice, but I don't think anything can diminish her beautiful voice. So. Uh, I'm, I'm sure whatever we see here is going to be just fine. Let's take a let's listen to it.
There we go. Again, we can stop pretty much anywhere. We'll stop right there. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I know the first time I heard this song, uh, Angelina sang this song with the fan made video with the bat, you know, all the natural stuff in the background and the guys jumping down the hole and all that. Um, you know, it, it's just so, uh, it, 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 it gets so deep into your soul. Uh, the fact that this little girl, 12 years old, <laughs> people are going to hate me for saying certain things, but I get, you know what? I got to say I'm, I'm a reaction channel guy, right? I got to have a reaction. So here's some of it. Oops, sorry. Hang on, Angelina. Let's go back to, eh, that's a good spot. It doesn't really matter where you stop it. Angelina's always, uh, her picture's always beautiful. Um, because she's in it, basically. <laughs> now, I got to say about Ivan, I used to love Ivan's, uh, how he reacts when he's playing. And if you ever heard his interview with uh, Alan Papier, uh, it, it's, you know, obviously he was, <laughs> when he was working with Angelina, when they were singing and stuff like that, it was hard for him to concentrate on what he was doing because of her voice uh, oftentimes. And uh, he, he says that in the interview, which, you know, yeah, I've always wondered how, how do they, how are they even able to play anything? You know, they should be there with their mouth open, <laughs> you know, that they're in the same room or sitting next to her doing anything, really. Um, that's just, that's just me. Uh, I got OCD anyway, so if there's anything going on in the room, but by anybody for any reason, I'm uh, distracted, but that her voice. Never heard anything like it. Don't expect I ever will, other than from her. And, uh, you know, there's those that like her and those that don't. I, the ones that don't like her, I don't know. You know, some people think Angelina's an alien. I think the people that don't like Angelina are aliens myself. But uh, not, not that you can't have likes and dislikes and like certain songs and don't like other songs or don't like them as much or whatever the case may be. But in this one... Uh, if you listen to Elvis Presley's version of this song, maybe I should play, maybe I should put that on so you guys can, can do a comparison. When you hear it, Elvis was Elvis. Elvis had a beautiful voice. Elvis, in my opinion, was as much a show person, a performer. Uh, and of course, he was, most, a lot of his career was on the uh, Las Vegas stage. Uh, not all of it, of course. He was in movies and did a lot of things, but uh, later on in life, I think most of his performances were like Vegas, and you, you know you got to have the everything in Vegas. You got to glitz, glamour, excitement, and all that stuff in order to draw a crowd. And um, so, you know, I think he was, uh, especially later in his career, was was more of a performer. Not late, late in his career, because then he couldn't really perform that much, but uh, he could still sing though. Uh, so to go on with the story, I'll quit, I'll quit doing it. I'm not talking about Elvis. Yeah, I just was. So let's go back to Angelina. So when she sings this, that deep part there, oh, 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 oh boy, who stepped on the dog's tail? The um, When she goes down so low and all that and so crystal clear and so clean, oh, man, that, that got me. You know, that got the waterworks working. And... I mean, I was already on the edge anyway, so, you know, why not just turn the valve on a little bit, you know? And, you know, it's... it's. There's other singers that can sing young, you know, young girls like Diana. You know, they can sing low. She can sing really low, Diana. Uh, the, the thing is, for me, that the consistently... Angelina is able to connect with me emotionally. And as I've said in many videos, I don't really feel like I'm that emotional. But when I'm around Angelina, yep, I'm nothing but a <laughs> an emotional wreck. Okay? And it's not in a bad way. It's in a good way. So, uh, you know, it's it's just something that uh, her, she, her voice does for me. I may not do it for everybody. I got friends that, uh, you know, even adult older friends that would normally be uh, the prime audience for Angelina. They, you know, they, yeah, they, she thinks she's a good singer. You know, they think, you know, eh, and they listen to her and listen to other people, whatever. And, you know, I guess that's fine. I guess to me, they just haven't really heard her yet. Uh, they listen to her music, but they haven't heard her. So, 
uh, we'll see. You know, I believe, uh, you know, you can't, you can't force people to like things. Uh, they either do or they don't. After, you know, like, like myself, you know, over time, if I go back to something, maybe I didn't like, I'll give you an example. I almost did this. And I can't believe I almost did. I'm 68 years old. My whole life I say there's two things in the food category I don't like. I don't like fish. I don't eat fish very often. I do on occasion force myself to eat like a tuna sub because I know that it's brain food and I need the help, okay? But I don't like it. And if I go to play some place to get a sub where they can make it right there in front of you, I'll say, okay, give it, give me half the tuna fish you usually give. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put hot peppers, green peppers, onions, uh, olives, you know, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, everything. Everything that's on that table, all the cheeses, every single one, uh, and some dressing. Because I don't want to taste any of the fish. <laughs> Honest to goodness, that's what I do. And, uh, uh, but, I, you know, I only do it once in a while. The, uh, like once a month or so. Because I, you know, I, I, I think I should, probably should eat more fish. I just don't like fish. I don't like shrimp. I don't like lobster. I don't like clams. I don't like any of this stuff. So anyway, and it's just in my head. I know I could probably eat it now without much of a problem. But so the guan, I don't like to get off Angelina videos onto food and other things. And the other thing I don't like is berries. Um, I tend not, I don't like raspberries, strawberries, uh, uh, you know, blueberries. You know, I've had them before. I didn't, you know, they just don't do much for me, right? So I stopped at this little farm stand down the road last night and I picked up a, a muskmelon and a small basket of large tomatoes uh, for my continued uh, diet uh, necessities. And uh, I noticed they had quarts of blueberries there. And I thought, you know, I should buy a quart of those and just try to integrate those in somewhere because I know they're supposed to be good for you, antioxidants and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't, but I probably will go back and buy some uh, soon and, and make myself eat them, okay? Um, I don't know. So to go back to Angelina and Elvis, I don't know how we got on the food topic. I don't know, as I tend to wander a little bit at times, like all the time. So Angelina has this uh, ability, as we all know, some people call her the, she has a thousand voices. And, and when you listen to her, Especially when she does Elvis, she pays homage to Elvis. She takes extra care to do that. And it's the way she sings. And she, she sort of emulates Elvis, but she has her own flavor on it. And you can't not help but sort of hear that and notice it. But at the same time, you also can hear Angelina in there. It's not, she's not trying to copy Elvis. She's trying to pay respect. And boy, is that something we need more nowadays, right? So, you know, I, I won't drone on and on, but uh, yeah, Angelina's just, uh, she's one of a kind. That's why we love her. She's got a beautiful voice. She's a beautiful person as well. Not, phys not just physically outside, but on the inside. And, uh, I, you know, I'm so happy that I'm alive at this time to witness her rise to uh, where she belongs as a, as a global icon. So we'll see. We'll see how things go in the future. And Ivan, uh, while he hasn't been in the picture lately, uh, I always enjoyed his, uh, his, the way he reacts while he's playing the guitar. <laughs> uh, I, just, you could tell he was feeling it when he had that interview with Alan Poppy. He sure, he sure has said that too many times. All right, guys. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.